Hello everyone, um, I'm finally back with another video. Uh, I think it's been a while this time again too. Um, I wasn't meaning for it to be, but I didn't really have anything to share. And I went on vacation last week and I just got back today. Well, last night. Um, but I got a email, uh, I think it was Sunday. And it said that my Emu doll was on its way. And I think it originally said Tuesday. And then I woke up this morning and it actually said it was coming Monday. So I do have that opening. But I'm going to do it separate because I also have some other stuff that I purchased um, on vacation. And also Target had a sale. And so I bought some stuff for my dolls during that sale. And then I also bought some other stuff, but it's not coming till like Wednesday, Thursday. So I'll have to do another video about that stuff because I did want to open it um, for a video. But <clears throat> um, but I didn't want to wait for all this stuff because I've, I've been wanting to open this all week, basically. So this um, these two things are my Target things I ordered. Um, I ordered Glitter Girl stuff. I think three outfits or maybe four. I think it's three though. And then I ordered two 18 inch doll outfits because I do have my 18 inch doll here. And I bought them some like fall winter outfits. And, <coughs> sorry. So, um, yeah, I wanted to open those. So we'll do those real quick. Um. I'll show you my patients. Oh. Okay. So these are my 18 inch dolls. Um, they're Journey Girl. This one I got at a Goodwill for like two or three dollars and she was in really good condition. I just washed her hair. And um, she turned out really pretty. Like, I love her eyes. I think the Journey Girls have beautiful eyes. And then this one I bought off of Amazon on sale. And she has beautiful eyes, too. They're, like, green. And they're very realistic. And um, when I was wanting to get 18-inch dolls... I was looking at a lot of different ones because I, I did want American Girl because obviously that's the big one. But what I don't like about American Girl is they have all cloth body. So if you get them like spaghetti strap or off the shoulder tops, then you can see their cloth body. And some of their cloth bodies don't match their skin tones that well. Whereas with like these dolls, they have, they have a chest plate. So that's all one collar and one material from their shoulders across their chest. And so I really like that about them. And I'll show you, um, I bought from Goodwill something. And I only bought her because of her outfit. I don't think I'm going to keep this doll. Because um, she's a, what's the Target one? Our Generation? She's an Our Generation girl. And they are all cloth bodied as well. But I'll show her to you later when I show my thrifted stuff. Um. But the, the My Life As dolls, at first I was collecting, or wanted to collect them, but I wasn't, I don't know, I didn't like their faces as well. But I think that the Journey Girls have really, really pretty faces. Um, and then there's these other dolls, they're called Gots dolls, and they're, for, they're about the same price, maybe a little more as American Girl, and they have like full vinyl bodies. And I almost got one of them, but these ones were the right price basically so I was like I do I really need more than two 18 inch dolls so this is where I'm at right now I do like a lot of the new um I forget what they changed the name to they're called like just like you dolls now I think on a American Girl I like a lot of the new ones uh, I don't like their outfits I think they're all kind of ugly dresses but I do really like a lot of the new hairs and um I like how they're doing their eyelashes and stuff now. I think they're really nice looking. So I might eventually get one just to have one. But for now, I've got other stuff going on. 
Um, but anyway, those are my 18 inch dolls. Um, I might pause it and dress them in the outfits I'm about to open, but, um, uh, I'm not very good at editing. Like my brother tried to help me, but I, as soon as he stops helping me, I lose all my knowledge. Okay. So we're going to open these. This one I think is just one of the, um, 18 inch doll outfits. And I also, um, I like to open stuff on camera because just in case they mess up, then you have proof. <coughs> so I bought this outfit because it's kind of got like a little jacket and it's got this cute little cat hat. Um, so I wanted them to have something nice for fall because I hadn't bought anything for my 18 inch girls in a while. There's that one. Okay. Okay, so. think it's weird to like um when I made this <clears throat> this target order um you had to get to a certain amount of money to get free shipping and um they shipped me everything in three orders so it's like I don't understand how that helps them I mean I guess it just gets you to spend more money but like I, I got uh, I ordered a book and it came separate in its own package this came of course separate in its own package and then all this came together so it was all free shipping for me but i mean it didn't ship together so it cost them i guess um this is the other outfit and it's just got you know like a little jacket little tights another little hat and a cute little bag um but i think they'll look cute in those together more fall than they look right now. I just didn't want them to get neglected. Um, and then the rest of this should be glitter girl stuff. Open this little one first. Um, some of the stuff I ordered because uh, I didn't like all the pieces, but they were mostly on sale. And I think they were on sale, but I think I also got some kind of other discount with them too. I can't remember exactly what happened. But this one. Oh. This one you get some more jelly shoes. And some of the Glitter Girl outfits come with shoes that have actual glitter on them. And I have some like that. And they do they fit. But be prepared to get glitter everywhere. Because the glitter comes off. Whereas with these jelly type shoes. They fit perfectly fine. And they have the glitter, but it's like, it's in the plastic. So it doesn't get everywhere. Um, oops. And then this outfit is just some two little socks. And those should fit. Just a little, a nice little top. It's like a teal collar. With the glittery or sparkles. And then this is just a little skirt. And all that should fit her pretty decently. Um, I need this actually. And then this one is tennis shoes, um, like a little sporty top. It's got little shorts, and I think they are separate. Let me get this out because I'm not really sure. I hate when they tie stuff down like this. Well, 
Oh, this is all one piece, actually. I was thinking this was two different pieces so I could use these shorts. But this is all... <clears throat> See, this... Um, when, I, when I ordered it, I thought these were separates. Like a layered look. But it's all... It's all one thing. Which isn't too bad. Like, they'll still be fine. And if you really did want just that look, you could probably cut this in a way out. But I'm fine with it. I just wanted her to have a couple different things to put on. Because this is really all she's been in. And the reason I haven't ordered her too much stuff is because I have been waiting for my MU doll to come. Because I did order her some clothes from Alice Collections. But... Um, there's kind of a difference between slim MSD and regular MSD. So I wanted to make sure that the clothes that I purchased for, um, for my MU doll would fit on, on both of them. Because if it doesn't, I am going to order, I think, um, just a regular sized MU doll. So the stuff won't go to waste. Um, but all I have right now is slim MSD. So, um, I mean... You know, if it doesn't fit, it'll get used when I eventually get around to ordering something a little bit bigger. But yeah, these are the tennis shoes. They'll probably fit just fine. And this is just like a little dog leash, another water bottle. And I think this is like a belt. And I think that might be a headband. Oh, sorry. I'm not even showing you. Um, leash. Leash right there. Um, water bottle. Oh, that's cute. Um, this is like a belt, or maybe it's a collar, actually, if you had, like, one of their pets that they sell. This is our generation from Target. Or no, this is, this is Glitter Girls, sorry. Um, and then this is probably a headband, because the Glitter Girls actually have pretty big heads. So, I probably won't be able to use that for her head, which does kind of have me worried about the next outfit I'm going to show you, because I did specifically order it because of a head piece. But, if it doesn't fit her, it will fit the, um... My SD size dolls. So it's not, like I said, it's not a waste. I have a plan for all of it. <clears throat> so this one's like um, little overalls and a pink top. And see these shoes here, they're like, um, they're little tennis shoes, but they have glitter on them. I don't know if you can tell. I wonder if I can turn this on. I don't know if that'll help at all. I don't like it that actually. Okay, so anyway, um, <coughs> these are actually. Let me see if I can get another light one. Sorry. Okay, so um, they got the glitter on them that this will flake off and it will make a mess. But one of the reasons I, I ordered this was because I really wanted these cat ears. And they might fit on her. <coughs> but if they don't, like I said, I have, I have glitter girls. So all this stuff will fit on glitter girls, of course. And then I, I have the SD dolls, so they're probably closer to size. Yeah, it probably would if I, if I messed with it, but I don't want to mess up her hair. But that'll probably work for sure for her. Anyway, that's what I've got from Target. Um, So I, I, um, on my vacation, we went to some flea markets and thrift stores, and so I ended up ordering some stuff 
or not ordering some stuff, but finding some stuff there. Um, so I found this rocking chair, and it was only a couple bucks. And I think she might sit in it. Here, let me just me. I stole this um, stand from a um, a porcelain doll that I got from a Goodwill too. I like it because it's got the rubber covering this metal, so it's not as scary trying to use it on your BJDs. But yeah, that works pretty good for her. Maybe a little short for her, but I mean, for a couple dollars. And it'll work for other dolls, too, so. <coughs> And then I found some dolls, and I don't know what one of them is. I think I know what the other one is, but this one's like um, it says it's an MGA doll. I don't think those are her original clothes because they do the skirt does not fit, and she looks like she should have a wig. She has inset eyes; they're really pretty. Um, it does say she's MGA. 2010 and she's got um she's got a chest joint it doesn't do much but she can go side to side i think mga is very bjd inspired um because they always have pretty decent joints on their dolls <coughs> but anyway that's her i don't know what she would be she doesn't feel the most high quality plastic but her face does look really nice and she has really nice eyes like I don't I probably can't really show you because I don't have that much that good of lighting but they're really pretty eyes um so I found her she was only a couple dollars I found this doll I think she's um I think she's a mycene barbie <coughs> I haven't cleaned any of these dolls up because I just got back, like I said. Um, I don't think this is her original dress. Or anything. But she's got, you know, she's got the jointing and everything. <coughs> <coughs> and, um, oh, she looks pretty. This is the Our Generation Girl that I found at Goodwill. She's got like a little writing outfit on. And I don't know. It's like. Okay, there we go. Um, she's a really pretty doll. And I do like. I don't like how they used to do the faces of the Our Generation Girls. They used to kind of have almost like ratty looking faces. Um, but I think these have really pretty faces. But, um, I'll undo this. Um, they have the all cloth body. So they have the same thing that I don't like about American Girl. But I do like, um, I prefer the facial sculpts of our generation to that of the My Life As Dolls. And her hair feels really nice quality. Um, but yeah, I mainly got this girl cause she was only like two or three dollars. She was three dollars and I was like, okay, she's got, you know, she's got some nice boots. She's got a little riding outfit. I love her jacket and she did come with this helmet. So I was like, she's definitely worth the three dollars. And then I found this big doll. I don't know what these dolls are. I found a few of them before. But they're like about 16 inches, I would say. 
and they're just kind of fun because they are they're jointed they've got you know the bending knees um she came with an outfit um you know they're just kind of neat and she was only she was only three bucks um and their hair's not horrible it's pretty decently rooted like i mean obviously it's got some bald patch you know but i mean for what she is she's pretty cool and I figured, you know, this might fit uh, a, one of my BJDs, one of my four skull dolls. So it was worth it for that, too. Um, <clears throat> and then I got a Barbie. I got her because she was in this outfit. I don't think this is her original outfit. But, and it's not in the best condition. But I thought this was a pretty cool dress. And... The Barbie's kind of pretty. She needs fixed up. But she's got a pretty face. Um, I'm not really a big fan of the Millie face. Like, I'm sick of seeing it. I, at first, I thought it was kind of cute. But my I like the 2010 era of Barbie. So I'm kind of wondering if that's what this girl is. 2009. So that's what I got from... Uh, the Goodwill, and I got some books too, um, but I also went to the flea market, and it was just me and my brother at the flea markets, and we were kind of striking out at them. There wasn't a lot to get. Everything was kind of either expensive or just nothing we were interested in, and then I came across this, and I was so surprised she was only like $15. I've never heard of this before. Let me raise this up a little bit. Okay, she's called the Mommy Doll. Oh, well, it's going to be mirrored, I guess, but she's called the Mommy Doll. She's 19 inches, soft body doll with accessories, and she's from 1990. And she's like this little young lady, and she's got a baby. And um, she looks like she might be made of rubber, but her hands are really pretty. Like, the, she's really well sculpted. Um, and I would have been three in 1990, so maybe these didn't last that long, but I don't remember them at all being an option. But I think they're they're really cool. So, at 15 bucks, I was like, I'm definitely getting her. And I haven't decided if I want to open her, but I think I do want to open her just to feel what she's like. Because she looks like she's really cool. And even if she's not that cool once I open her, um, I think I could use some of her pieces for the BJDs or something. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and open her eventually. But I'm going to do that in a different video, I think. Because I think I'll save her after giving it a little bit more thought. And I'll open her maybe if I, if I get everything I'm supposed to get Thursday. Then I'll put her in to open her with that stuff. So, that's her. And I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I think it's after over 20 minutes now. Bye.